out there are two ways in which you can enter text. You can either use the sliding QWERTY keypad and you can begin typing here. Or you can simply take your stylus or your finger and tap on the text field and a virtual QWERTY should instantly pop up. Um, as I've owned the N900, I've had the privilege of using both the hardware and virtual QWERTY keypads, and I of course prefer the hardware sliding keypad instead of the virtual one because I find it to be a lot more easier to use with uh, touch typing. Now, the virtual keypad is not too bad to use, but I find that it's easier to use it with the stylus versus my two thumbs since the buttons tend to be so small and you have not as much accuracy as you would have with the hardware QWERTY. You can also include emoticons with this soft touch command in the lower left hand corner. You have your assortment of different emotions that are symbolized with these faces and it's a simple tap to include it in your message like so. The great thing that I like about this particular um, implementation on MAMO is that it shows a listing of a number of different appointments that are upcoming. So I can see here that I have a number of different opera rehearsals coming up for February 8th, 10th, 11th, and the 13th. And then on the 9th, I have a task that's listed that's coming up. The one interesting thing that you will see here is that to the right of every listing, you have a specific color that is depicted. This color is for a certain category that has been um, designated within my calendar application. So for you Mac owners out there, this is basically similar to what you would have on the iCal application. We're going to tap to get into the application, and you will see here that once I tap it from the widget, it automatically goes into the agenda mode, showing all of the upcoming uh, appointments. And you can see here that the current day is Sunday, February 7th, 2010. And if I want to add a new event, it automatically adds a shortcut to do so. Blue. This color is the default color for any sort of um, events or appointments that are entered into your personal calendar on the N900. You can access additional settings on the calendar by simply tapping on the name at the top of the screen. You then have three ways in which to view your calendar. You have the month view, the week view, and the agenda view which we're currently looking at right now. Now when we go into the month view, you will see that it shows the entire month. And then every single appointment that's listed on different days has the color depicted on it as well. All of anything dealing with the Virginia Opera has orange showing and any of my personal appointments have blue showing. And another thing you will notice is that any birthday entry on the calendar will have a birthday cake icon located on it as well. You can simply go to the next month by simply swiping the screen. March 2010, February 2010, January, December. And the same thing goes for swiping vertically as well. November, October. Swipe upwards, we go forward in time. Okay? Now setting up a new event is fairly easy. Simply click on the on-screen command, and then just like with any other calendar application, you enter in the title, where the appointment's going to be, indicate whether it's an all-day event. You can change the dates right here, like so. You scroll up and down through the months, through the dates, through the years, click done when you're finished, or if you don't want to alter the date, simply click out of it and leave it the way it is. Then you can also do the same thing with the start time and end time. Scroll through the hours, scroll through the minutes, which are in five minute intervals. 
click done. You also have additional settings for setting an appointment. You can set whether to repeat it. And then right here is where I really love having the N900. The color coded categories. Right now I have four different categories available on my calendar. A purple for e-coach activities that are done on my device. A blue one for my personal activities on the default N900 calendar. A green one for private and an orange one for Virginia Opera. Okay? And I can choose either one of these to indicate what kind of activity it is. Now in order to add additional categories, you simply go into settings on your calendar and click on edit calendars. I currently have five visible calendars. Okay? Now all of these colors here are color codes that I can assign to different categories. If I want to add a new one, I simply click on new and click on next add a title for my calendar and then select the appropriate color that I want to add to it. Okay? And then I also have the option to make it visible or invisible. And then below that you have an option to activate the alarm for any particular amount of time according to your choosing or whether you want to completely shut it off. And then below that you can enter a description using the QWERTY keypad. Okay? And then once you're done, you can simply save it. But if you don't want to save the event, you simply click, click out of it. Now below the three ways in which you can view the calendar, you have additional settings and commands as well. Previous month, next month, jump to today, or jump to any other day according to your choosing, like so. Or you can go to tasks, which will show you all of the tasks that you have on your calendar. Okay. Or you can go to notes, which will take you to the notes that are inside the calendar itself. Then you can set up a new event or access the settings. For me, the calendar application on the N900 is the best one yet on any Nokia mobile device. Now the notes application is nothing more than a basic text editor where as soon as you enter in any kind of text, you can use different features to change specific qualities of it, whether it be the font as you can see here or the size of the font or different characteristics such as bolding, italicizing, and underlining. This feature here changes the color of the font and then this following feature activates bullet points in the note itself. Now, unfortunately, from my previous experience, this notes application is not compatible with any sort of Word document file that is, you know, from an attachment in an email or a direct transfer from Microsoft Word or iWork or, or something like that. So, um, once again, this is nothing more than a basic text editor. And once I get into the email application, I do see a listing of all of my inboxes that are activated on my N900. And then above the listing for these three inboxes, there is also a soft touch command to initiate a brand new email message. Now, this email message is going to be sent through my default account, which is right now in bold font in comparison to the other two inboxes. To get access to my primary Gmail account, I simply click on the uh, the entry and I am now brought to a listing of different folders for my Gmail account. Okay. I click on my inbox and I am taken directly to all of my incoming messages through my Gmail account. Now whenever you have a new message that hasn't been checked yet, it is going to be highlighted in blue lettering. Whereas once you check through a message and read it, it is no longer highlighted in blue and only appears in white letters. 
Now, even though the N900 is capable of downloading HTML format content, you will have to download image content separately once you're in the message itself. Now, even though this email is sent through YouTube, you can see that the logo for YouTube is not visible. To initiate downloading of this image, I will have to then take the stylus or my finger and tap on this icon in the lower taskbar area that looks like an image with a clock right in the lower right hand corner. Once I tap on that icon, you can see that the image has downloaded and it, it appears right in the message itself. Now, anything that I want to do in regards to my emails here can be accessed by tapping on this command at the top of the screen. And it gives me every soft command available. New message, move messages, folder details, show more, send and receive, delete messages, and sort. Sorting can be done in a number of ways, as you can see here. Very convenient. Now, what I do like about the email application is that as you're typing the email, it does automatically capitalize the first letter of each sentence. However, there is no feature that automatically includes the period when you do a double space at the end of the sentence. And as you can see, there is also completion of certain words depending on the library that's been built up from previous word entries. Another thing to also keep in mind is that whenever you put in an I, it isn't going to be automatically capitalized either. You have to uh, press the shift key and then type the corresponding character. 